Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. You can start. A happy morning to one and all. It's indeed an honor to welcome you all on behalf of AMS School of Informatics to the webinar on recent trends and challenges in HRM. I'm pleased to welcome to this speaker, Mr. T. C. S. Srinivasa Prasad sir, our chairman, Professor K. V. Arlapati sir, our secretary, Sri Vai Satyanarayana sir, our director, Professor K. Vijayalakshmi ma'am, other dignitaries, faculty and students who have graced the occasion virtually. I now invite our director, Professor K. Vijayalakshmi ma'am, to give her welcome address. Thank you, Shivani. Uh, very good morning to everyone present over here. Warm greetings. I heartily welcome the speaker of the day, Sri Srinivas Prasad Garu, our chairman, Professor Rachalapati Garu, our secretary, Sri Vai Satyanarayana Rao Garu, faculty from other esteemed institutions and students for today's webinar on recent trends in human resource management. This is being organized by Department of Business Management on the Mahila Sabha School of Informatics. For the benefit of uh, students pursuing BBA and MBA from various colleges in Hyderabad. Andhra Mahila Sabha School of Informatics Hyderabad has been organizing uh, many webinars since two years, trying to exploit every academic opportunity that this pandemic has thrown on us. This is one such initiative by us. We feel uh, today's uh, topic for the webinar is very relevant since the human resources, uh, as you all know, is a dynamic function in organizations. Organizations will be successful uh, for the kind of HR policies that they adopt, especially during these transition times due to this COVID outbreak. The way we are working is completely changed. This pandemic has shaken all organizations, creating a challenging environment for managers and human resource management professionals who have to find novel, novel solutions to see that they continue their existence as well as helping their employees to cope with this extraordinary crisis. So this pandemic has forced businesses to reset priorities and develop new operating models. And many, as you know, many companies are struggling to adapt and they are evolving their norms. And HR basically has to be, everybody knows that it should be people first mindset. So many challenges are there to be addressed by the companies right now in redesigning their policies while going towards this digital uh, world of work. Many questions crop up my mind. What I observed during this transition time, what is the importance that is given to employee psychological health while working remotely? And how can companies bring about inclusion and belonging culture due to this virtual mode of working? And how can we reimagine and redesign the recruitment and training process? And how do they empower teams, their teams with artificial intelligence? So in a nutshell, how the HR policies are to be redefined. So as to face all these challenges, I spelled out a few. And what new trends can we observe? HR after five years, strategically. HR after 10 years into the future. So I'm very happy that today we have a corporate trainer with us to discuss about all these nuances of HR. I welcome you, sir, once again. I expect the students to have great interaction with the speaker after the session or during the session also. Sir likes to interact with you right from the beginning. And I welcome all the participants once again. Now I hand over the session to Shivangi, MBA first year student. Thank you, ma'am. May I now request our chairman, Professor K.V. Achalapati, sir, a retired professor from Usmania University, presently director of Danvantri Institute of Science and Technology, to address the gathering. Good morning, Tal. Um, Dr. Vijay Lakshmi, the director of the MSI. The Secretary of the College, uh, Sri Satnarangar, Dr. Satnarangar. Uh, today's speaker, my friend, 
TCA Srinivas Prasad Garu, uh, Shivani, Shivani, right? Shivani, the anchor of uh, this program. Uh, Lerna Sarkar members. And also the um, governing body members who are invited. In addition to that, we have uh, students, MBA students. Yeah, there appears to be some disturbance. I think, madam, you can mute. Yeah, still there is some disturbance. Maybe Nataraj and Rama. Yeah, fine. So, I am really very happy to come back to you because um, MSI is known for uh, dynamism. So we have not uh, taken off during the COVID time and uh, April 2020 to this day, almost every month we have been conducting one program or the other. And uh, that keeps us always uh, um, alert with what is happening. The institute is headed by a HR person, so which you can see, uh, we have uh, we are trying to extract, uh, uh, given a topic of HR also to a cost accountant. So from a cost accountant, uh, we will like to hear. I know he is a techie savvy cost accountant uh, with a versatile knowledge in different uh, topics. So I know him very well. Therefore, uh, once uh, he accepted the topic, uh, I really felt very happy because uh, as all of you are aware, many points are already covered by Dr. Vijay Lakshmi that uh, we are shifting from, we have shifted from work from office to the work from home. Again, now work from home to the work from office. This adaptability, agility, how it is affecting the psychology of the employees, how it is, how the uh, organizations are adjusting to the uh, changes as such, and uh, what are the cost effects of this on the organization, um, and then uh, how, what are the challenges? Because the day before yesterday, I have seen in the Hindu newspaper a big article that has come that. Um, uh, the uh, work environment and MNCs are now changing their seating arrangement also. Originally, they were arranged uh, uh, in a chair, chair like what I am occupying presently. But from that, now they are arranging even courts so that to, uh, the uh, people can take rest. Because from the last one year, they got accustomed to work while sleep, um, laying down on a bed, uh, working on working from home, such kind of activities are also there. A big article, very interesting article has come on Sunday. So I am also very quite inquisitive to learn something from Srinivas Prasadji. I don't want to stand in between you and uh, the others. Uh, HR is a big challenge because uh, whatever cost and uh, accounting dimensions which we look into it ultimately it is the people who have to deliver the things and unless the people are motivated nothing can happen i'm i'm, I'm experiencing it after becoming ceo thank you thank you sir I, I... Uh, one more point madam sorry uh, tca prasad is a very good friend of mine from last uh, almost uh, 10 to 15 years more than 15 years and uh, he has been hand holding the organizations in molding the uh, organization towards the adaptability so i request him to adopt our msoi also with, with him and in fact both of us are traveling together to uh, make some mous with the universities we went we had been to pondicherry university tomorrow seven years seventh day we are going to maharashtra uh, eighth, we are coming to Usmania. Ninth, we are going to Palamur University. 
and the 10th or some other time we are likely to go to mahatma gandhi university in nalgonda all universities are going to have mou with the icai where i am also a director in the aat uh, association of accounting technicians uh, committee a part of the icwai institute so a professional institute we are going to work so once usmania science perhaps i am so i also can become a part of it thank you thank you sir uh, may i now request yatmulu kanikaram of mba first year to introduce our speaker mr tcs srinivas prasad sir thank you shivani good morning everyone i am vai kanikaram of mba first year it is my privilege to introduce today's guest speaker mr tcs srinivas prasad he is a visionary having a vast experience of over 45 years in diverse fields of financial management hands on in enterprise resource planning strategic planning m&a finance budgeting and forecasting and accounting operations across various business functions such as manufacturing and logistic services tcs srinivas prasad sir is a passionate person in knowledge sharing an accomplished corporate trainer in areas of enterprise resource planning human resource finance supply chain management and material management a warm welcome to you sir thank you thank you kanikaram over to you sir sir over to you sir sir you are on mute hey good morning i think i must be audible am i right am i audible yes sir okay fine so i would like to have it as a all of you must be seeing i am uh, definitely an old man uh, unlike many of you so i think you should not give me the trouble of speaking for all the 90 minutes myself okay so i love to take bread water all those things so i need help from youngsters like all of you the topic given is uh, hrm the uh, trends and the challenges now i just wanted uh, somebody to answer me it can be student it can be uh, faculty anybody what is meant by hrm human resources management what is that can uh, somebody answer me please yeah somebody has raised the hand so i may not be able to go through the uh, chat so somebody has to navigate and then help me in uh, making those mics to be on so that they can answer somebody should help me because i will be concentrating on the screen yeah yeah sir will help please you please god yeah please god somebody raise the hand so i just wanted to know whom it was what, what is the answer what is meant by hrm that's what i wanted to know anybody yes please god sir basically hrm human resource management is that a field of management which will plan organize and control the uh, operations of the organization sir such as developing uh, procuring and maintaining the records of the organization okay procuring and maintaining the records of the organization in a simple in a simple term can you just tell me what it is suppose i ask you Uh, to tell you in your mother tongue what would be your answer it is basically Simple managing account. the people sir to complete hmm. the task sir managing the people to come to conclude i conclude madam please continue to co complete a task sir like arranging a people okay. in a way how to complete okay. the task we will uh, make them uh, learn sir motivate in okay. this motivation will also come into consideration okay fine very good thank you so what uh, what we will do is uh, we will just go through a very small presentation a very very small one okay let's have a look at the presentation i'll share the screen one second tell me once the screen comes through okay not it sir is the is the screen coming or not must be coming now it's visible sir now it's visible not visible okay fine 
uh, yeah somebody has to tell me what do you see in this uh, it's a rapid fire round quiz so please go ahead anybody can answer at least from the faculty side what do you see from here what is this i need answers madam starfish starfish okay it is not starfish okay fine so what do you see here hen 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 hen, hen, hen cock hen or cock theek hai whatever it is what cock. do you see now cock what do you see children sir seeing out the so some children are seeing outside now from the room they are seeing now what do you see now Pizza. Pizza house. It's a house. Pigs, cats, whatever it is. Now, what do you see? It is actually a. Yeah, street or area. It's a sort of a colony. Am I right? It's yes. a colony. colony. Now, cars, pigs, cat, cars, house. What is it now? Was it a colony? No. No. What is it then? Arrangement, sir. What any? Arrangement. Arrangement of what? House. Corner. House. Arrangement of arrangement of toys, you know. It is basically yes. toys, as you see now. Why do you say toys? Because you are seeing hand or feet. Now you are able to see. So what you saw initially yes, as a jellyfish was not a jellyfish because of cork. Then what you see you saw as a house and this one it is not a house. We will proceed. Shall we? Was it a toy shop or what it was? Classroom. Was it a toy shop or what it is? What do you see here? The image. What do you see here? Catalog. Catalog. What do you Sad. see here? Sad. It's it a, is a painting. It is a painting, most probably, or I think it is a book. Am I right? somebody was reading a book and on that it was there so where is this boy sitting this boy is where any idea boy is on a ship am i right who is where is this quiz next to question see is it in the sea i will look at it then what is this in the sea Sir, it is a poster. Is it in the sea? It is in a bus. Am I right? So the next question comes. Where is the bus? Bus is obviously on a television. In television. Am I right? Where is the television? Next question. Television is in a postal stamp. Where is the postal stamp? Next question. It's on an envelope. Where is the envelope? Yep. Very nicely so, explained, sir. So now, please yes, tell sir. me, what did we learn from this? First of all, and what is the connection between this presentation and the human relationship management? And somebody tell me, please. Then we will go to the trends. We will go to the challenges and all. Just tell me what it is. Observation: yeah. How we observe. How you observe. Point of and view. And one more thing. Point, point of view. Who said that? Process. Who said South that? Point West. of view. Me, sir. Yeah, ready. Yeah. Okay, madam. Please uh, remember that you. Yeah, chocolate is due to you. So whenever we meet, or I will ensure that you get a chocolate somehow. Somebody should note down, and then others should clap. Point of view. H R M. Thank you, sir. The 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 whole uh, thing of H R M is on point of view. All of us should remember. the point of view of mine will not be the same as the point of view of the other person and it is human relations management no two human in the world think the same thing they may think alike only we never say great men think identical have you heard this proverb no you only heard the proverb great men think alike 
somebody put it on a very uh, different ways and all fools also think alike or fools don't think so they are also alike all these things we have but please remember we only think alike we only look alike but we are not identical so when one yardstick of dealing with one human being is not going to work on another human being absolutely because human beings unfortunately are different different characteristics right from physical and inwardly also so what you saw in this zoom that is what the presentation what i made you have you have some perception on the first slide then the perception changes second slide you again change third slide you think something but something else is coming when you are dealing with human beings you will think that he is going to react or respond in one way but unfortunately he responds in another way now you say that krishna agreed rama is not agreeing are bhaiya rama and krishna are entirely two different species krishna may agree rama will not agree rahim will agree rama may not agree so you must remember when you are dealing with human beings the relationship matters a lot and lot and lot and uh, i had gone through the syllabus uh, uh, dr vijayalakshmi madam thank you for sending the syllabus i went through your syllabus i felt like i should join back immediately because to learn you know so it's it's a such a wonderful syllabus and uh, uh, students will be really benefited by the end of attending this uh, complete uh, curriculum because all your select electives and all and selectively they are all done very good now so you your perception please remember when whenever we talk about human relations management we are dealing with humans one and we are having a relationship with them two and we are going to have different different perceptions of different different people what you think about me even there are say say 74 people as i see watching this so in 74 people will be thinking differently about me on 74 ways some may be thinking as a old man some may be thinking as a technology man some may be thinking as a he is a very god fearing man tika ka laga ke aaya somebody will be thinking he considers vaishnav and shaiv as the same because he has got a vaishnav tika and a shaiva vibhuti so you are you are thinking about me is going to be 74 it is a what do you call you know it is 74 mean multiplied by n number of times your own thinking is going to change now let's go through a one more small presentation before we get into the actual topic okay that will uh, give you more clarity as to what we are uh, talking uh, professor was uh, talking about uh, working from home and all so that's why i thought i will uh, talk about this is my screen visible uh, please tell me once my screen is visible please tell me Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a screen is visible. Okay. Now dare to innovate. We will have a look at it. Then we will uh, come out of that. Okay, fine. Uber. All of you must be knowing, isn't it? Uber, the largest taxi company in the world, do not own any vehicle. All of you must be knowing about this particular fact. Am I right? Yes or no? Yes, sir. yes sir uber uber doesn't have any taxi on their own name whereas 5 10 years back if you want a taxi to go to airport either you call a taxi or you tell a travel agent and then he makes a booking comes signs and all and then he drives you and uh, the pricing will, will be different from different people and all now uber comes and he says you have an app you Through the app, you book a taxi. You know the driver who is coming. On um, what is his rating? You know whether he is a chit-chatting fellow or a good fellow, good mannered fellow. All those things you are aware. And then he drops you without even talking to you. You go to any corner of Hyderabad, give the address, and then he reaches there without talking. Whereas if you had hired a taxi, then you have to say left level dali, right level dali, straight level dali, all those things. Now you don't say anything. You simply tell, please go. Then he goes. takes the money either on cash or on digital mode and then he leaves so a largest taxi company does not have a taxi at all this is the business now facebook so facebook who creates the media can somebody tell me uh, many of you must be having facebook who creates the media facebook is all about media you know 
So who creates the media? People. People means we only, you know. It is we who create the media. Facebook doesn't create a media. Facebook gives you a platform, you create a media. You are a child walking, somebody singing, whether you can listen or not, somebody sings. Somebody dances, whether you can see or not. So your contents are created by us. Now, who earns the revenue out of Facebook? You have put a content, you have made a short film, put it on the Facebook. Now, who is earning money out of that? Who is earning? Can somebody answer? Whether you are earning Paisa, are you earning? No. Facebook, no. YouTube, no. YouTube, are you earning? Facebook YouTube, is Facebook. only earning, sir. So, in India, there is no unemployment at all. Everybody is employed. Please remember, whoever has got a YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, one of that you will have, or Twitter, what you call LinkedIn. So, we put, we are all are employed by all of them. Only thing is, they do not pay us. This is one way of a HR strategy, madam. You recruit people, don't pay them, they will continue to work, like all of us. Yes or no? It's an HR strategy if you really look at it. Alibaba or for that matter your Amazon, they don't have any inventory at all. So they don't maintain inventory. There is no work for any auditor for year-end inventory checking and all. Apple, it sells more than 200 million cell phones, does not own any single factory. Apple is the only mobile manufacturing company which doesn't have a factory. Now, WhatsApp has more than 3 billion messages and does not own any server. What is meant by server? Can somebody explain? Server? Anyone, please? Chocolates are due. Anyone? Server is the place where you keep all your data, you know. So, WhatsApp doesn't have a server. Your mobile phone is the server. Though that means you create content and give it to WhatsApp. WhatsApp, you leave your mobile phone for him to use and then he earns money. Look at the business model. So the business has become disruptive, innovative, collaborative. Please remember, the travel business is, has become disruptive, innovative, swiggy. You can order idli from one hotel, dosa from one hotel, and chapati from another hotel. Previously, you didn't have this kind of a choice. So it's a very innovative, collaborative because all three hotels collaborate along with a driver or whatever it is. So your whole business is becoming disruptive, innovative, collaborative, and consumption is shifting the lines of economy. If this is the way the business is being organized and done, so where do we fit in as HR professional? In previously, we used to recruit people for one single business and then we were used to train them. Now things are going terribly in a entirely in a different, different way. So what is the role of HR and what kind of uh, challenges they have and what kind of trends, what is happening in the HR? That is what we are going to see now, right? Fine. Is there any any particular point anybody want to uh, reflect on anything, whatever I have told so far? Anyone? Or can we proceed? Yes, Satyana Rano Garu, you have anything to say? Anyone? Or can we proceed? Okay, thank you. Now we go we to... Can yeah, go, okay. we can go to... I will uh, again go back to my screen share. Now, please tell me once you are uh, able to see my screen, right? Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Visible. Okay, visible. okay fine. Now, HRM. So, we have uh, two things that we have to see today. One is your trends, right? Uh, Trends and another is actually my challenges. So first, let me uh, go to the trends. We have a lot of trends happening in the HR field uh, these days. Okay, so one second, please hold on. 
trends. What are all the trends we have? Let's have a look at it. Now, you'll have to go to the extreme left. Let's go. The increased importance of HR, that is one of the trends which we have. More emphasis on employee mental health, reliance on data driven insights, fluid workforce. We will come and see each and everything. Work from home, remote, di promote diversity and inclusion, new skills, training, new definition of employee experience, fluid task management, personalized pay packages, and corporate downsizing. These are all the trends. I will look at it, corporate downsizing. We have, I have only given some major, whatever you call as what is happening. Okay, so look at it. These are all the trends which is happening. So much of uh, trending on HR. Okay, work from home, work from home, all of us know because everybody is working from home. So we really know that we are working from home. Definitely, there is no uh, doubt on that. Now, we come to increased importance of HR. Let's have a look at what is what does this say, increased importance of HR. Previously, we HR was an important function, but what was happening is it was a granted function also. HR means only the HR department will be doing. Even in many companies, even now that is that is the thinking. No, but HR means it is the issue and it is the job responsibility of everyone in the organization. Now, for anyone. The first HR manager is his immediate boss. Now, previously we had the concept. Now what is happening is when during the pandemic, uh, the, the whole uh, trends are changing because of the pandemic on HR. Because of the whole pandemic, there is a new normal which is happening. What is new normal? All of you must be knowing. What is new normal? Whatever is now happening, that is that has become a new normal. Because, you know, like washing your hands, putting a mask and then ma maintaining a distance and then try to avoid public transport. Hundreds of things are being told. So there is a new normal. When you have a new normal, people may work online or people may work offline. So I will have to give more support. What, are, what is being told? Let us have a look at it here. 80% of workers who are new to remote work say that their internal communication helps them feel more confident in their own actions when making decisions during crisis. These are all some of the surveys which I have taken. Internal communication, please remember importance of HR. HR again talks about all, all management principles talk about communication one way or other, but HR is much more important because 80% of the workers, because they are going to take decisions online, not seeing each other if, without the actual feel of it, what is happening, they are taking decision. But as long as the internal communication helps them feel more confident when making decisions during the crisis. Acha, tell me whatever this particular portion, is it available on the screen for all of you? Whatever I am reading, topic properly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, Thank you. So this is your increased importance of HR. Because you know, HR has become more important and especially in uh, the very, very disruptive way of working, whatever we saw on Dare to Innovate and as well as on the focus. Now, at least when people are sitting in front, then you are able to see the eye movement. You are able to know body movement. You are able to know whether he is agreeing, disagreeing. Now it is all virtual. So sometimes you your video is also off. From your words only people have to understand. So it has become very, very important. So HR has again got a very tremendous increased importance, especially on the new normal area and on the more support to the employees, right? This is the first one. The second trend, more emphasis on employee mental health, right? Before that, I will uh, stop for a second. Uh, uh, friends, this is a, uh, new software which I am using for um, knowledge assimilation. 
so um, I, i have shown to our achalapati gals up on that day so this is called mind mapping software where you can focus what you want to focus only so this like this i am doing you know now no more emphasis on employee mental health previously people were worried about employee physical health health now it time has come that corporations and governments and organization they really get concerned and they really take care of the employee mental health also how being available whenever he is in trouble he or she is in trouble or they need help the person is available on call may not be always on a zoom meeting or whatever it is on call now if you see the communication we talked about communication on the previous point so on call people are there to help so they have this this comfort yes my boss or my subordinate or my peer is available so that is the one that way his anxieties are distributed his ang anxieties are divided his worries are divided so it is a complete uh, being available thing and showing empathy previously we would have been sympathizing now it is empathy we try to get into the employees shoes and try to find out like uh, suppose online uh, we normally tell all people to stop their mic and other things but with all that there may be a child crying in the house or somebody must be going now when you lot put on your mic like you are able to see there is work going on on the next floor i cannot go and stop him but you are able to understand something is going is going on and you are able to empathize with me oh this is what is the problem let us understand it let us be with him this is what is happening this so more emphasis is on this also what is happening in the trend if you really remember online meetings and um, virtual meetings people really understand each other initially there were hiccups and there were a, a lot of shouting and all these days it doesn't happen when somebody requests other people to put off your mic initially they would have got offended now you don't because you understand the other man's point of view and the employee wellness program many companies are doing this employee wellness program many companies do i am i am i am associated with a film production house as a honorary management consultant so there every wednesday they have made the people into three four groups group a group b group c group d and all group a are the primary actors and all so they will have to undergo rt pcr test every two days whereas group c people like us who go to the office we are we are tested for rt pcr every wednesday and then if something goes wrong they take care of you there is a medical insurance so complete employee wellness program is being undertaken by many organizations these days and long term remote work support so uh, i don't want to mention the company one of the very major software company once the during the pandemic when they started they requested people it's an hyderabad company they requested people to work from home what they did they immediately delivered a very good working table a furniture and all those things whatever is needed for an office company say it was delivered in the house so that the employee doesn't sit on a makeshift arrangement makeshift stool and chairs and all he has been given a complete facility as an office they increased the internet speed they put everything that means the long term what support the company has given all that is needed for an employee so so what happens this gives him a lot of relaxation because if he has to buy a chair if he has to buy maybe he doesn't have a table now he has to work from home so if he buys a table then the financiers that is going to affect his thinking and also the company thought it's a very big company indian company headquarters in many places very big company so they have thought of this up to this level that i will have to take care of my employee this is what they have done now the third one you are look at the reliance on data driven insights data driven insights is what i have a real time feedback whatever is needed i am able to get it on real time previously to go and approach a boss or to go and approach somebody higher level you will have to take permission you will have to take an appointment and all now everybody is on a phone call away or everybody is on a 
online on a zoom meeting or on like this on a google meet is the same if we are done this physically we say 70 80 people have to travel to your college whereas now i think many of them must be attending from their home comfort so these are all the why because you know we are able to communicate real time and whatever i am doing it here if i am making a presentation it is available to 70 80 people of you you are able to ask questions all those things now the next point comes is the fluid workforce what is meant by fluid workforce they are not permanent so we have freelance workers our employees our executives and we have got contractual why because you know the the present trend is you don't even in government also they don't go on be recruiting even in government organization you have contractual employees and freelance consultants and all they work why because any permanent staff is going to add to the fixed cost of the company um sir was talking about a cost accountant taking the hrm subject mainly because we look at the cost cost whatever i am whatever i am dealing at the back of the mind what will be the cost what is going to be my benefit as long as the employee is going to give me going to give me a more productive output then i am definitely getting benefit so the present trend is i have got a freelance workers staff or executives or consultant and i have got a contractual contractual means okay i contract you for 11 months or for 6 months for a particular job or for a cleaning job or for a design and development job or for making a particular structure available so this is the contractual thing so the trend what is happening is i am moving away from the actual permanent workmanship to my freelance and contractual workmanship now what is happening the la- the third next point is work from home i think uh, there is a lot of being spoken lot of being um, heard about it so we are not getting into the thing work from home is an hr trend so many companies around the globe have told please do not come back to us till december 2021 to office now some companies say okay you please come to office at least 3 days in a week alternate 3 days you work like schools have started in tamil nadu and other places 50% of the attendance so 3 days some students come three days another other students come i don't know about the colleges in telangana what is the rule right now but in tamil nadu this is what they have made now work from home trend now what they say is in some companies they have gone even to the extent of telling if you are working from home then you are perquisites and your allowances will come down why because suppose somebody is working in let us say in hyderabad previously in the office so they were being compensated for the cost of hyderabad city cost of living in hyderabad city including the rental the distance that he has to travel to the office and all now suppose he is away in a telangana in a remote village or in a remote town small town then the cost is going to be less so many companies are coming out with this proposal you can work from home but then uh, please take a small cut com- comparable to the place where you are working and many many what we think is pay cut means immediately our mind comes to no why should we do no but many many of the executives and the staff are very much willing to take a pay cut because of many reasons one they are able to be away from the hustle bustle of a big city they are able to be with their parents or they have some other um, interest in the village or in the town they will be able to do and uh, they they can lead a better life since the cost of living is going to be less so there are pros and cons but this is what is being told by some of the companies so work from home is uh, one of the trend and uh, this trend is going to stay for quite some time it is not going to go up very easily because uh, two things people have also got accustomed to this comfort of working from home so that is also one of the main point which is happening now next point is promote diversity and inclusion now what is this promote diversity and inclusion in the trend the trend now you are able to take people from anywhere we will be coming on the recruitment is likely later 
that means you are got you are going to have a diverse cultural people and diverse affiliation people so you are going to have all of them previously maybe you had the option of only recruiting you are local people or you are state people online you can recruit anybody from any place as long as he is able to deliver he need not physically come so you will be able to deliver and not only because of pandemic because you know uh, 2006 56 i'm talking about 15 16 years back <clears throat> steel authority was implementing and practicing telemedicine i don't know how many of you are aware of this telemedicine concept you must be aware all of you the you know remote village because we have mines that are very very remote villages so the doctors cannot send the patients here critical patients and all so the patient used to be there we had a camera apollo calcutta used to look at the patient from calcutta itself they sitting 600 kilometers away on a mountain top and they used to take care of the people so this is nothing new online working and all is not new but it has become a new normal that is all now from a diversity you have a different culture affiliation motivation what does it say let's have a look at it research shows that a cohesive work culture boosted employee performance to 56% and there is one more important point decreased turnover is to 50% if you have a cohesive work culture in the organization your employee performance goes up and also employees do not leave we call you know attrition rate that doesn't happen so motivate them to be involved in the company vision holistically we lot to i mean we we have a strategy paper where all of you must be knowing company's mission vision and all that is everything should be given to all employees till the last down employee wish that now some of the points in continuation you look at it this gartner what did they say non traditional techniques like email scrapping and tracking workspace usage to monitor employees because you know somewhere else i will be again talking many people do not even read emails these days because you know i think many of us may not be reading because many junk mails also come so gartner found that more than 50% of large corporation non traditional techniques like email now many of us are not in the office also many of us are not sending emails we send even whatsapp we send twitter we send so many things now look at uh, what uh, managing director of jll consulting says 80% of the workforce will be working on a freelance basis by 2030 so it is here to stay it, it, no. see the this trends are not exactly because of the pandemic no hr trend is slowly changing with the pandemic or without pandemic it is changing so i i am that is why i thought i will talk about at least 7 8 years horizon i was talking about 2030 it's about 9 years from now so your fluid workforce are going to stay now we come to new skills new skills you will have to prepare the employees for critical thinking soft skills and technical skills you will have to prepare them for critical thinking though thinking is natural that is what people say but we will have to give them case studies we will have to train them we will have to put them on the job put them in the swimming pool critical thinking how they should think and then do new things that is what they are supposed to do and uh, new skills soft skills i need not explain what is meant by soft skills there are hundreds of things starting from communication and behavior etiquettes and telephone behavior and personal behavior all those things how to behave with your elders how to behave with your seniors and all there are a lot of things and when it comes to technical skill we will have to now train them on artificial intelligence machine learning okay i am not added uh, iot internet of things and uh, let us say on rpa robotic process automation and all no we are not getting into that so if you really look at it they will have to get on to the new skill on critical thinking on soft skills and on technical skills and continuing further now they will have to have on ar and vr augmented reality and virtual reality 
so this also is picking up very very fast in the world so um, india it has not picked up pace but there are companies which are doing on augmented reality and virtual reality so if you if you really look at it many of the training of your pilots is on a module you know on a training module on a on a cockpit module which goes on a augmented reality and virtual reality so actual positions are given you are not flying but then you have got a simulation like that people have to be now given simulated ex exercises on dealing with human beings if there is going to be a strike what will you do so there you will have to now get ready you will have to simulate the situations human relations management includes ir industrial relationship also and industrial relationship is a very very dif difficult and a different subject ball game because in a human relations management you will be dealing only individuals whereas in a ir you will be dealing with a group the individual dynamics of, of a human is entirely different when he becomes a part of a group then the group dynamics takes over the group dynamics behaves well if fortunately the leader of the group behaves well the group dynamics works bad unfortunately if the leader of the group is a bad person so you do not know individually you will be a very good person one of your employees the moment he gets into your group then his behavior will be entirely different so how are we going to handle all those things we will not now train all our people this is a trend which is happening worldwide on an ar and vr training all day then what happens there is something like employee experience so previously we were not really concentrating on the employee experience now all of us should remember the like we have got a lot of choices in buying any any employee or any staff of a company has got hundreds of choices for getting engaged in another company or another organization so unless my employee experience is going to be good then he is not going to be very very happy about it okay so there are there are surveys and other things happening on this particular employee experience okay what does mckinsey says we will come to the engagement tools and all look at this mckinsey found that flexibility that comes with remote work has increased engagement and well being levels among us based employees the mckinsey has done a survey for us so like that indian companies also are mckinsey itself can do an indian survey but this is what it has found that means how i am going to engage my staff and employees or executives how i am engaging what are all the tools that i engage them to keep them happy to keep them satisfied to keep them contented to keep them involved in the because you know they may be working online offline i will have to keep them involved once they get involved in my company of us then what happens they are able to produce more they are able to be more productive they are able to be more involved and more value added person to the company so that is the most important thing and for that you should have a surveys after surveys within the company level you will have to do lot of surveys to find out what is happening to the employee so as as i repeatedly say like you have got choices employees also will have choice like when all when many of the students who are going to after finishing their courses mba and all so they will have a choice to join somebody may not have a choice but somebody will have more choice or even after joining an an organization you will again look for better choices so choices are available in front of you like a consumer now so if somebody is very good how the company is going to retain them employee retention is a very 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 important point and it comes as a challenge i am not getting into the this one now comes to fluid task management so i have a flexi working hours then i can have a work life balance previously we had fixed working hours and fixed holidays and all so if if somebody has got a some important family function then they may not be able to take leave whereas now you have got a if if it falls on a friday instead of a sunday we normally say really i tell please keep it on sunday so that i will be able to attend you have a work, flexi working hours then maybe you can do many jobs which you are not able to do earlier many of the household jobs 
tax payments, corporation payments. You are not now that online has come, but previously you are not able to do going for a uh, driving license test. That too, you, you cannot do a driving license test on online. You know, so that is not possible. You have to go. Now previously you have to apply leave. Now if you have a flexi working hours, then more flexi holidays. Maybe you you work on a Sunday. Go for the test on a Monday. This is also possible. So this is a trend which is happening: flexi working hours and flexi um, holidays and flexi days, working days, and to take care of work life, work life balance that they want to take. Now the the one of the most important point is personalized pay packages. Previously, we didn't have this on a very large scale. we had same pay scale for same kind of job to the same kind of people now the trend is same level of job or same level of grade and all if somebody is working well or somebody has more number of years of experience somewhere else then you have a personalized pay packages there are some companies in india which do not make the pay slip public to people or to even other employees so everybody's pay slip is available only to him or her he or she does not know what is the pay of the next person unlike your government companies where pay slip is printed everybody knows what is my salary what is your salary it is not there so what is happening this is uh, taking definitely a shape so normally they say you know compensation will not be a limitation for the right candidate that is what they say why they say because for the right candidate that will be a personalized to pay package right now the last point in this is your corporate downsizing this is a trend corporate downsizing also is happening not because they want to reduce people i am talking of corporate downsizing maybe on human being on the workers or on the staff as well as when there are going to be mergers and acquisition if the corporate go big there were mergers and acquisition where there were two personal department earlier two hr department two finance department two materials department then they will say that we it is enough we have only one materials department one hr department so there is a corporate downsizing is happening mainly mainly not because of pandemic please understand it is mainly the order of the day you have a m and a mergers and acquisition happening and you have got demergers and happening there are a lot of lot of dynamic things are happening in the world as long as the corporations and big corporations and companies are concerned so it is a completely a dynamic field so you have this kind of a thing happening now in the corporate world now uh, with this i have uh, come to the end of my trends you can have a look at the trends we will just have a look at it emphasis on how we are it's there sorry we have increased importance of hr more emphasis on mental health reliance on data driven insight fluid workforce work from home diversity and inclusion new skills training new definition of employee experience fluid task management personal pay package and corporate downsizing what i will do i will just uh, stop sharing at this point okay now let us uh, get back to my meeting and then i would like to have your response so far what we have discussed please because yeah, that will that will also that will also give me a 2 uh, minutes respite to have a cup of water please yes any responses so far what we have said i believe i am audible to all of you you are not yes sir audible sir uh, my name is adik kumar sir yes please go ahead sir my name is adik kumar i am an actor team yes. uh, from vijayanagar college of vijayanagar college of commerce it is in vijayanagar colony it is a government aided okay. college sir uh, 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 Have been to a session from start to downward. Yeah. In your keynote address, you were referring to uh, in your key. Uh, sir, I am audible. Sir, is my voice is clear? I am audible. Is my voice is clear? You are audible. 
you are audible but lot of echo is coming from when you speak so uh, your okay. words are clear i understood that you are from vijayanagar college uh, uh, fine fine fine, fine sir but a lot of echo is happening yes sir uh, my question is that uh, in your keynote address you were differing about culture and a different aspect with regard to hr so my question when you look at the global perspective global hr so uh, there are lot many challenges are there when you uh, as as per the now youngsters especially now those who are pursuing uh, their mba hr so when you they want to go for abroad and did anything obviously they face lot of challenges so can you please light on some of the challenges are there at a global perspective so how to overcome those challenges sir uh, this is my query uh, what is your take on this sir <laughs> okay um, mr ajay you can uh, go on yes. mute mr ajay i had uh, requested all your people response only on the trends i have not yet gone to the challenges portion at all if you remember i have two branches i have shown you so i have gone on on the trends so my uh, my request to all of you is to give me your responses or your reflections and whatever i have done on trends i will come to the challenges as i told you i will come to the challenges a little later because we are half way the, the topic was hrm the trends and the challenges i have completed the trends portion so i am looking for reflections from all of you so you are um, you are actually you are very very dynamic fast so you jump the gun to the challenges immediately so you have to hold on and uh, for the record i am not a keynote speaker i am actually the resource person keynote uh, i am not that big keynote is given by people uh, who are better off than the speakers so i am not a keynote speaker i am just an ordinary speaker yeah so any anybody would like to have any particular reflection on the trends or you you feel some other trends which i have not mentioned can somebody give me more input please because it is a topic uh, known to many of us it's not that uh, i only know the topic many, many learned people are there students must be looking at many of the organizations how they are working so is there any other trend in hr which we have missed that's what i want to know or you want to add any particular point mr ajay i will definitely answer your point when i come to the challenge yeah please go ahead hello sir yes doctor we know the we know the yes sir good morning sir so yeah. this is with regards to employee experience i would like to know some more uh, points on that wisdom i want to gain some more wisdom on that and uh, uh, one more trending part what i felt is work spaces work spaces work spaces sir ah huh. work spaces i was uh, talking about that you know madam if you really look at it uh, when when i was uh, talking about your uh engagement tools and survey and all instead so, of real real time feedback you remember so real so, time it comes into that particular topic on the work space so you have a real time feedback and uh, on a data driven insights and all your these kind of work spaces see work spaces what happens you are able to now share the work spaces also right i am talking even on the cloud right you are able to share so the moment you have the same data available or same information available to many of many of the people then your productivity actually goes up and when when i talked about the employee experience that is what you are uh, first question you are uh, you are asking about the employee experience, experience you look at it what is employee experience really because you when whenever i am working on remote mean i am talking of the remote level and all then flexibility when i am able to give in the work away working hours and i am able to have a flexibility also then my wellness increases and my employee experience employee experience means how the employee experiences in his job so previously we didn't have these kind of surveys going on because you know previously employee used to come to the office and then they used to see and then go and uh, if if all of you permit i i will uh, uh, on the same subject about the employee experience i will just share a on a lighter vein 
one general manager was walking very fast on the floor and he saw a particular man was standing putting his leg on the wall so he goes and asked him what are you doing he asked he said nothing sir i am not doing anything then uh, he was telling if you are not doing anything then you are not needed in this company so i will immediately dismiss you so he called the accountant he called the accountant uh, one second uh, please hold on somebody has come and they're knocking the door So I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm sorry for the disturbance. So this man immediately calls the accountant and gives a three months. He asked, "What is what will be your salary? How much you earn?" He said, "I am earning twenty thousand rupees." So he said, "Give him sixty thousand and ask him to get out of this factory." So this man was paid sixty thousand in cash, and this man leaves the factory. Now what is happening? Next day morning, the manager, general manager again sees the same man. So he said, "What are we doing?" He said, uh, "I am a tea shop fellow. I am. I give tea, and then I am waiting for collecting the tea cups back." So this is how employee. The man thinks that he doesn't have any work without even knowing what whether he is an employee, what job he is doing, and all. So if you are experienced with your employee is going to be at this bad level, then you are not going to run the show properly. so whenever we talk about employee experience we should now especially the trend i am talking previously we were not worried previously whatever happens to the employee as long as he is paid and then gone gone now because of the global scenario like mr ajay was talking about global um, opportunities on working so his mind is already there how to get a global employment if this is the thinking of employees themselves then if his experience in working the organization is not going to be good then you are definitely going to lose the employee so you must be very very careful of looking at the employees okay what our i said on the trend now like hr activity and hr function has become all the more important as per the trends because you know you have to retain retain your staff and employees since they also have lot of opportunities coming in that way thank you any other question please thank you so much sir, for enlightening on this topic yeah. any other thing shall we proceed yes sir yes sir uh, one minute sir excuse me yeah. sir uh, yeah. i have a question i have just um, asked you in the beginning of the session in the welcome address also what will be the uh, kind of hr jobs after 10 years what will be the trend after 10 years can you just throw some light on that yeah we uh, we will do that madam let let me finish off uh, this particular session on challenges okay then oh, i will come to that Okay. Your, your your question is what what will be the jobs of hr after 10 years what kind of jobs what will be the new designations rather what will be the focus uh, of whatever today we have uh, rather than being traditional kind of uh, designations or the kind of positions new emerging hr roles after 10 years uh okay madam what i will do i will take the question now only okay see the designations really uh, do not matter madam please understand because you know some some places it is called as manager hr some places it is called vice president hr and hr there are places where it is called personal manager and where sometimes it is called an administrative manager okay now 
the jobs of the future what will what will be the jobs of future if you really look at it the the jobs will be same but then the content will definitely differ after some times okay so you you definitely you are hr evaluation will be like this you will have the some other designations i am talking okay you are got a strategic hr business continuity director you can have a director like that because you know strategy is also very important so you will have a strategic hr business continuity director then we have a if you if you remember uh, all of you must be knowing on artificial intelligence robots are there okay yes, there is a, there is one more bot all of you must have known chat about bot, chat bot chat, 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 chat bot, bot. Hmm. so you can have a you can have a chat bot and human facilitator that could be one of the designation which you will have because you know chat bot will be interacting with human that should be one way to facilitate so you have a chat bot and human facilitator then you will have hr data detective if something going wrong you will have to have algorithm bias auditor work from home facilitator okay then okay. you will have human bias officer future of work leader workplace environment architect we were discussing <laughs> about how the workplace should be there you know somebody was talking about chair place and all yes. then uh, if you remember virtual reality i was talking so virtual reality immersion counselor genetic diversity officer climate change response leader i am i am giving you since i am i am very happy that you asked this question madam because i had kept it as my last point <laughs> as to what is going to happen in the future i am very curious to know how exactly the students have to gear up to themselves to be ready is, after 10 years so and that's what i thank you very much because you asked this question otherwise i would have myself gone for this ask this question and then given the answer okay. now you just see giga economic manager as the human machine teaming manager because you know humans are going to completely work with machines and the machine job becoming robots and bots there are a lot of bots i don't know how many of you are aware kumbakonam city union bank there is a cub so you feel in, um, in chennai you have got a robo which uh, the robot we have named it, they named it as lakshmi so you go to the robo lakshmi you stand in front of lakshmi and you say he is uh, uh, what is the working hours of this bank lakshmi will answer the question and where should i get the check book what i should do for uh, getting a new check book lakshmi will answer lakshmi answers many things what is the interest rate of fixed deposits for senior citizen lakshmi answers so now whatever you are a, a, a normal enquiry officer was doing now robo by name lakshmi is doing then there is chief purpose planner distraction prevention coach employee enablement coach head business behavior university for life coordinator so these are all since you ask me what are all going to be the uh, uh, different kinds of designation yes okay. so very interesting so, so, interesting so to this, know these are all going these are all going to be your um, um, designation which are going to happen just look at the designation one of the designations say is chatbot and human facilitator that means we now know there is going to be a chatbot which has which has come to this one and strategic hr business continuity director we are immersion counselor human network analyst workplace environment architect climate change response leader these are all some of the de designations madam there, there are about uh, 21 hr jobs uh, um, i was uh, referring to a harvard uh, business review i was reading so i just collected it and kept it ready in case this question comes or i will answer this question myself thank you sir thank you thank you so much yeah any other any other point by anyone please can we proceed then yes yes sir yes sir yeah. just just give me a second please i am coming back Thank you. 
Is my screen visible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we go to we go to challenges. First challenge: remote hiring, isn't it? First and foremost challenge right now HR people face is remote hiring. Because you are going to be, it is going to be a very, very uh, difficult thing. Interviewing and assessing a candidate's skills virtually. You, you are, the candidate is not in front of you. You are going to virtually assess his skills. The screening for candidates who are well suited to remote work. Now you, I will have to convey, convey my company culture during virtual recruiting and training process. Additional thought and resources to attracting freelance or contract workers. The remote working is definitely uh, poses a challenge for the recruiters. And uh, if in a SAP terminology, it is called H2R, hire to retire. So hiring itself is a challenge now in this trend. Especially on any, even, even without pandemic, hiring had been a real uh, problem only. Because within that 15, 20 minutes or half an hour or one hour, you are supposed to assess the candidate fully and then take him or her. Many times, the person who is recruiting finds that his uh, definitely whatever he thought has not gone well. That is the problem. So you have this. Then if you really look at it, <clears throat> the next is uh, uncertainty about the future. Uncertainty about the future. Why? Because, you know, 20 per, I mean, these are all some of the uh, surveys have been done and all. So 20% of the managers say they have a full clarity on how business initiative rolled out. That means 80% of the managers are acting without a comprehensive vision. Now, when we come to what McKinsey says, existing management models no longer address the challenges that the crisis presents. The McKinsey is, um, McKinsey is one of the leading um, management consultant people. There are others, but McKinsey is one of them. So what is happening? Uncertainty, there is uncertainty about the future, definitely. So the best way to deal is what? Uncertainty embraces the fact that it is going to stay indefinitely. See, uncertainty itself, one thing is certain, uncertainty is always going to stay. Now, unless you are artificially intelligent, if you remember trend we talked about AI and ML and all initially, Unless AI becomes smart enough to predict the future, which is not going to happen. So there is always a problem on HR. There is an issue about uncertainty of the future. So this is this is certainly a, one of the major challenge because you know you plan, you train every employee to a particular way of working. Suddenly the whole paradigm shifts to another way of working. Now you will again start training them. Again, make a cultural change. You have made everything ready. Now, suddenly the company is taken over by another company whose culture is entirely diametrically opposite to this culture. So the HR man is again in a crossroads of starting and then working. So this is one of the one of the major, major challenge we face. And wellness of the employee, well-being. We have been discussing about this. Okay. Every all of us know. Uh, if working from home has got its own limitations, disadvantages and concerns. Okay. What we found in some of the exercises and uh, because it is about uh, almost 18 months globally, 18, 19, some com countries have started earlier. Let's say an average of 18 months, we are working from home and we are slowly opening up. So research says that 93% of the employees, employee means I'm meaning we, you can add teachers, students, everybody, you know, whoever is working from home and 90% of the persons, 
they have struggled with their well being because you know when you are working when you are attending all students when you are attending college or when the faculty when they were going to the colleges from one classroom to another classroom you had some exercises you are going up and down students used to walk the campus now everything is within one room because all your work from home is unfortunately from one room because you can't go to the other room your mother will shout every time you are on a call and you are not allowing me to listen to my songs or listen to my kada kalakshakam so this is the problem so your well being em employees is going to be a problem that is why the trend what we discussed initially you take care of the employees well being but whatever said and done if there is going to be no physical exercise no physical movement then well being of the employees is going to be a challenge the moment well being of the employee is getting into problem then your productivity issues crop up then it is a big chain of this one okay but we must remember that remote work is likely to continue okay at least say 30 to 40 whatever will be the percentage of employees so we will have to redesign the work schemes to promote employee well being and support the program so it should be a hybrid workforce all of you know hybrid workforce i need not explain some people will be working online some people will, will be working offline some people will be on a workspace some people will be on a cloud so we have to work on a hybrid way and then we will have to do it so this is one of the challenges which we will have to take care in 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 all times to come now you come to tracking and increasing team productivity because previously we had training programs physical training programs on the job training programs on the lab training programs and all these are all going to slowly come down or they may not be at 100% as what it was earlier so what is happening it has become more challenging due to the continuously evolving workspace okay these changes have been driven by technology as i was talking about technology globalization and uh, you are okay pandemic is portion of that because you know all these trends have started because of lot of globalization issues started and many things have gone on online shopping online procurement things have gone on changing now what i should do how i am going to you increase the usage of productivity tools because unless i increase the productivity tools my team is not going to be more productive so we will have to have development activities which are normally increased engagement and productivity and lot of online learnings are available But this uh, particular period has taught us one thing we should thank the nature for that all of us have started learning much more than what we would have otherwise learned because we had time so people who wanted to learn this was a golden period because things were available at free of cost things were available at a nominal value um, i i have i have seen many people on uh, even on the bhakti front people chat started learning vedas and vishnu sahasrana mam and so many things which otherwise we wouldn't have done because we were confined to a particular place and we wanted to keep our mind engaged okay physically you cannot be engaged because you can't go out but at least mind you can engage so that is how they have done so this is one of the important point then you the next challenge comes you will have to shape the company culture the company's culture you will have to definitely shape because you know the company is made up of individuals human beings so previously everybody was working in one place now you are head office is in one city you are branches in one country something like that is happening after globalization you to have a company culture is very very important because if you remember we talked about in the trends we have if you have a cohesive company culture then we saw 56% of the employee they will be very happy and 50% will not leave the organization also so the mainly it is a encouragement that is to be given to a team for active interaction and unity among the team members this is what is very very important we will have to take time to openly recognize each member's contribution and achievement right 
uh, yeah, at this point, I, I I have a suggestion to all people. I don't know how many of you have uh, come across a book called One Minute Manager. Have people come across this book? Can somebody tell me? Anybody has come across a book called One Minute Manager? Yes, please. Just saw, sir. Did not go through, but just saw that book very long back. One Minute Manager. Anybody else? There are about sixty, seventy people. What what we will do? Uh, if time permits, I will I will walk you through the book also. Um, I I have changed in my life enormously after reading that book. That book is, can be read in one hour, and it's a very very reasonably priced about one hundred and twenty, one hundred and twenty five rupees. Personally, I am the one of the beneficiary of that book the book talks about the point what we are talking on this shaping company culture can each recognize each members contribution and achievement if we are going to be a good hr people we want to be good hr people we i mean uh, this is my personal request very emphatical request you should go through read 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 that particular book called one minute manager how you will become successful hr manager is by that book it's by richard benson johnson it's a wonderful author i will walk you through that book if time permits definitely now comes supporting diversity and inclusion in the workplace uh, this uh, is the place where we can discuss what mr ajay was asking uh is mr ajay available still on the call yes sir yes sir i am i am there sir okay so yes, uh, that's why i asked you to slightly hold on uh, when we come to because you know you have to work in a global concept that means you are going to work in a diversity and inclusion of workflows okay let's let's have a look at it what it says with more diverse workforce perform better than other employees so first of all if on a global company if you are if you are looking for any opportunity we should not be worried that i am going to go for a company which is not an indian because you no know, there are reports and there are research which says diverse workforce perform better than other employees okay how building a more inclusive workspace can greatly increase employee engagement and well being one is a diverse workforce the other one is the organization in which you will be now joining or you prefer to join you should also find out whether they have an inclusive culture in the workplace so inclusive culture means whether they are able to take care of everybody or they only force their things on you so as long as you have these two things mr ajay you should not have a much of a challenge as an employee but as you grow bigger and become an hr manager then please please remember to go through this particular sentence because initially when you join you will be at this point but once you have become a big man you are going to be in fact all people who are attending the children are going to be then please ensure that you create an inclusive culture in the workplace where you are going to be the king is that clear mr ajay yes sir got it sir got it thank you thank you so now inclusive i will have to have all these things now next point is what management managing communication between teams all of you know communication is always a very big concern what i communicate and what the person who has got communicated understand is anybody's guess you you communicate something the other person understands it in a different way so communicating is going to be a one of the major challenge and uh, we have been talking about this communication for ages okay but somehow it does not happen you if you remember i talked about email and all let us have a look at, look at it now 
what is happening do you communicate effectively with your team now company culture built on effective communication can differentiate a great team from an average one but what happens recent work trends have increased the challenge of communication <clears throat> 97% of the workers consider communication to have a meaningful impact on their daily tasks 97% but what happens 71% do not read or engage with company emails or content all of you must be knowing uh, if you put something on the notice board many people do not read whereas if it is mouth to mouth it is getting communicated effectively you put something on a notice board it is not read many times 71 you get an email and all company email many people do not read our content so what happens people are see uh, all of you must be knowing there were economies different different economies first we had an economy based on let us say agricultural economy then old economy and all can somebody tell me what is the economy that we are passing through right now what is the economy that we are passing through in this digital world and somebody guess what kind of an economy we are passing through any idea can somebody tell me ott is what ott platform is what what are all the ott platform that you people know can somebody answer me this is an easy question everybody must be seeing sir this is a digital economy is it ah, digital, digital economy digital digital world madam the economy is slightly different ott ott platform amazon netflix aha whatever you call you know now how many of you look at the same suppose you go to a particular channel how many of you stay in the channel for more than 1 hour without changing can somebody tell me no obviously will change <laughs> so what is that so the, what what happens trp and all is working on a particular viewership you know how much time you spend on a particular view everything is possible on the digital world who is watching netflix for how many time everything is recorded and it is being a big data is collected and analysis is happening so what is that economy which is happening digital economy agreed digital world eh, the economy the, the economy is now shifting to something called attention economy this is a new word which is coming attention rating sir yes madam but everything depends on attention now all many of you some of you are the faculty so the the faculties are rated and the a good faculty is one who has got the attention factor the maximum yes or no a good faculty is one whose attention factor by the students are very high then only he or she is considered as a good faculty for some faculty all students go to the class for some faculty sessions many students bunk the class why it is all this attention business so if you are able to grab attention of your audience then you are a big person so in a, <clears throat> if you really look at it this communication if you are able to grab the attention of your employees then the company is a very good company why because in a communication costs thousands of dollars so communication improvement of communication is very essential and when this happens only organization can have a increased productivity this is a very 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 important and it's a it is a challenge right from immemorial it is a challenge it's not that it is a challenge today tomorrow it has been a challenge for time immemorial then you have got a regulation and compliance you have this regulation and compliance i need not explain because you know all of you know what it is then technology and digitization so this is a this is a new thing which is happening this is a big challenge technology and digitization what is meant by technology and digitization because you know many things are getting digitized you are previously what you used to send in paper and pen that has got digitized now whatever you are doing that is got digitized 
and the technology if you, if somebody do not know how to operate a computer ma, uh, let us take this example itself if somebody like a high know, end model cars sir technology high yeah. end model cars uh, modern modern cars if you don't know how to do that then you are in trouble so what is happening if, whenever you have these kind of technology coming through then if you are not technically technology savvy then you are into serious trouble you may not be able to do anything properly so technology comes as a very 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 big the sun so if you are not technologically savvy person then you are in trouble if you say that i can't work on computer then you are away. you are out on many other places even in a pharmaceutical shop people have to work on a computer isn't it if you, if you don't know a tally then you are out as a graduate itself many people now know tally and all so how how we are going to work on technology and how we are going to get ready with all those things digitization many of the digitization things they are going to be working with lot of documents previously there were hundreds of documents were there now you don't have that kind of a documents everything is available on absolutely on a digitized mode only you have now right so technology and digitization is going to be one of the major challenge and not because it is a challenge for the company it is a challenge for people who are going to work people who are going to do now you look at this particular thing what is being told you cannot simply take any technology and then implement in a company the hr man cannot take any technology and implement he has to look at this c three c's collaboration coordination and the culture this is very important three c's he has to think whether it is collaboration coordination and culture and what kind of a digitization your company is currently at and where do you want to take it to the next level and whether it is whether it is time to take it to the next level all those questions come so this the hr man as a hr person you must be very very careful in doing um, this particular thing now you have a skill gap you have a skill gap i was talking about uh, skills so skills and reskills if you remember we have been discussing about it skilling is needed technological skill or whatever skill so whenever managers need to offer training solutions that can evolve as quickly as the learners needs you will have to find out what is needed by your employees and staff and then you will have to give those kind of a training if you don't give then he will be out and please remember there are lot of tools like mobile learning or just in time all those things you may have to use it is not possible for you to physically bring everybody suppose employees and staff are scattered in delhi bombay calcutta and all now you cannot bring everybody to hyderabad sometimes to take a training many times if you have more number of people you can go to that city or bring them on online platform and try to train first of all this my you will have to find out what is the skill available and what is the skill needed and who should be trained and what kind of a training you should do so this is a very 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 important and look at this particular this one 35% of the skills that workforce have will likely to be irrelevant in the next few years uh vijay lakshmi madam asked me the question 10 years later what will be the hr definition hr titles you can understand madam many of the titles what you have become irrelevant because you are going to have a different kind of title different kind of job so unless you have a reskilling drive you are going to be in real trouble 66% of hr leaders say building critical skills and competencies will be the key priority in the next 3 years so as a, this is a challenge you will have to unlearn and learn what is meant by unlearn suppose you have got a, a glass of milk and the milk is now old you want to fill up with a new milk what will you do will you fill up the new milk upskilling sir upskilling ourselves what required for the current context 
yes. uh, it's uh, just like uh, up, upskilling ourselves yeah it is one is upskilling i fully agree with you but sometimes you will have to unlearn and you will have to completely learn a new skill i was giving the example of a glass of milk the milk has become stale milk is not you cannot use the milk anymore you want a good milk what will you do will you pour good milk on top of this bad milk now or you will throw out the old milk wash it and then take a new milk what will you do you will throw out the old milk no so upskilling is whatever skills you have you upgrade yourself on that that is upskilling what i am talking is another skill forget the old skill remove it from your mind throw the old milk wash the glass have the mind fresh put a new skill so you will have to unlearn and learn you will have to unlearn and learn previously a for apple b for biscuit c for cat d for dog now you are to forget about dog cat chocolate and all you will have to start talking a for artificial intelligence b for blockchain c for cloud computing d for digital data r for robotic process automation s for sap like this you will have to forget old a b c d and come to new a b c this is what i was mentioning one is upskilling agreed fully agreed but you will have to completely forget old skills and get new skills otherwise you can never have designations what i was talking you know there were a lot of designations which we were talking you know madam asked a question and i was answering how are you going to talk about chat bot and human facilitator that means you will have to completely a, a new cup of milk you will have to throw the old cup start learning you will have to learn what is chat bot what is meant by bot what is meant by robotic because chatbot is going to talk to the your employee the employee should not have a complaint so you have a chatbot human facilitator and you are going to have a human network facilitator you are going to have the workplace environment architect so just remember your skill set has to be entirely a different kind of a skill set you will have high staff turnover i think i need not discuss any much great in length because all of you know and very very unsatisfied employee is not going to stay with your organization forever so he is not going to be this is going to be a definite challenge then you will have to create innovative teams if your teams are not going to be innovative same job same timing people get bored then you will look for another one you are not able to stay in the same channel for more than 10 minutes these days unless it is a cricket match also in between you will go out and then come back so unless you are doing something very very creative you are going to be away from all these things then breaking down silos what is meant by silos i will only do this job i will not do the other job this is not my job this is not your job all those things are called silos totally silos means they are in different different places so i must ensure that people who work in silos they are allowed to mingle with each other everybody knows the other man's job if he makes a mistake what is going to be the effect on the other man and if the other man delays what is going to happen to me all these things are very very important so i will have to break down the silos and ensure that everybody works in unison this is a challenge definitely a big challenge knowledge loss and brain drain all of you know we need not discuss too very length at it because you know it is essential for managers to encourage knowledge sharing culture otherwise what happens if somebody is somebody is working and then he leaves the organization then along with him his knowledge and whatever he has done for the organization goes off so you should have a proper documentation you should have everything proper so that when one man leaves the, you cannot hold on to anybody you no know? can you it is impossible so somebody has a better posture somewhere they will leave so you should ensure that when somebody goes along with him the knowledge should not go he can carry his knowledge but that knowledge should have been now transformed to somebody else otherwise i will have to start training another person or a group of persons 
for ever so i am going to incur a huge money but then money also can be again earned but what about the loss of time loss of opportunities i don't have that so i will ensure i already ensure that i don't have a knowledge loss and the brain drain i don't allow it to happen but all these things wishful statement it should not happen but it will happen provided you don't take care of your employees well being and all, all the things whatever we have uh, talked about that then this is what employee engagement we were discussing about uh, many times we were discussing about this employee engagement if you are not going to engage your employee 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 uh, by motivating them and then treating them as important people okay otherwise your employees are likely to leave please remember research shows that engage employees are more productive if you don't engage an employee he will leave therefore it is not surprising that 88% of the businesses are seeking to improve employee engagement you will have to engage an employee if you are not engaging employee even if you pay him money he is not going to leave he is not going to stay manlo you are given 1 lakh package per month and then you are asked to come to office and then you are asked to sit in a particular room by your hr man you are the hr man you put somebody in a room and then you tell him you please stay there how long he will stay he is not going to stay for long no because you know he gets bored without any work if you pay initially one or two days it will be good otherwise he starts acting if you people cannot sit idle though we think that it is easy to sit idle you cannot do you have to be engaged if you are engaged then you will be happy human brain wants to be engaged otherwise it get rusted and then it becomes totally waste now the other thing is how is your performance metrics and benefits apply to workers that don't work for the company full time suppose some performance metrics will work as i told you no we are dealing with human beings so some performance metrics will work in some place but it may not work for the whole company as a whole so we we'll have to look at this angle also as to what is what i am supposed to do for majority of the company it works and i am able to do a better job so what are all the challenges we just saw sometimes uncertainty about the future well being of the employees tracking and increasing team productivity shaping company culture supporting diversity and inclusion in the workplace managing communication between teams regulation and compliance technology digitization and minding the skill gap high staff turnover creative innovative teams breaking down silos knowledge loss and brain drain finding the holy grail and then employee engagement figuring out how performance and creation of environment for loyal workforce because you know, if your workforce is going to be loyal then you have got a continuity of your workforce your things will be much better and they will be able to do it better suppose we look at the whole thing in a different perspective whatever we were seeing now let's have a perspective in a different perspective this is what we saw now on a, on a different sort of a presentation i am giving you all these things we saw if uh, if this is needed then i can share it uh, to madam vijay lakshmi yes madam yes sir yes sir we need it <laughs> we yeah, need sir. it we will put it because you know i don't know whether you have recorded the session or not but uh, no, we are recording but talk. still uh, it will be handy yeah. for us to uh, go further if we want to do yeah, some further yeah. research Sure, sure. I will, I will send it to you um, by mail or whatever. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, now, uh, what I was, uh, uh, I have finished this. What I wanted to know is, if you have any question or give me another five minutes time, I will finish the one more presentation, which will be 
um, definitely helpful to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, I was sir. talking yes, about I was talking about this uh, particular uh, book. What I have been uh, uh, what I have been doing is uh, I have been uh, working on uh, some of the books. Book reading is one of the biggest uh, habit that you should not leave. Okay, I was uh, doing that for quite some time. So I thought. Uh, since it is an opportunity which I got, I thought I will share the book with you. Because you know, everybody reading the book is going to be difficult. So I thought I will do that. So just give me a second. And in the meantime, if anybody has got any questions, then we can discuss. I am getting prepared for the other presentation. Any, any questions, please, by anyone? Sir, uh, we were talking about this uh, new normal. Yes, madam. Right. So uh, now we are all going back to our offices. So are we going into the new normalcy or back to the normal? You will only go to new normalcy now. Uh, with an enhancement of no wisdom, learning, and no, all no, expertise. You, huh? Madam, Madam, please remember, you are sure. going to have a new normal only. only. You, you, you will not have a old normal old normal is not going to come back because because it is it is a very simple logic madam why old normal will not come i will tell you old normal is not going to come mainly because there will be a fear factor amongst people at any particular time people are not going to behave the same way they were behaving please understand one thing all of you previously before pandemic uh, I mean, it is on a lighter vein, but then it is true also. Before pandemic, what was happening? Before pandemic, we were not much worried about the health of your neighbor. Yes or no? Very true, sir. Your, your neighbor had a fever. Were you worried? No. Now, no, what, do you, what do you pray to God these days? That they should be that... better so that I'll be better. <laughs> if you will be better. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are more worried about your neighbor, about more than you. You feel that the next man should not sneeze and cough. Am I right? Because you know that you are not going to cough. You are not next going to have a fever. Yes. So, was, now we have become a, like a Vasudeva Kudumba, you know, big, big family. And then family. you don't want any, 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 you don't want anybody to be really yeah. get yeah. so just imagine where where is the normal now you, yes, you don't have a normal yeah. anymore now. so you are not going to be anymore on a normal you will be on a new normal yes and one thing as you said uh, we need to have empathy uh, that yeah, empathy, empathy is really yes. going to work out sir yeah empathy is going to work otherwise we will fail in our this one uh, so empathy yes, is the one which will take you to any kind of heights. If you are not, see, it is it is simply not understanding somebody. Understanding somebody is something different. Empathizing with somebody is another cup of tea. So yeah. we should start empathizing with tea. Then only we could. So yes, according to me, my personal opinion. Yeah, yeah, my my personal opinion is the I don't think we will be able to get back to the complete world normal very soon. It may take some time. Yes. So the new normal will be the normal. Absolutely. Keeping distance, not shaking hands, and then uh, not becoming too very close to people, and then uh, uh, ensuring what kind of food you take. You are now more worried about what kind of an intake you have. There are hundreds of things which is happening. And then you, you ensure that everybody, now you are saying everybody should be well, you know, not only you. Because you are going to move with everybody. Now you are dependent on others. So we are taking up some. Yeah. So true Vasudeva Kutumba. Yes, that is what I said. <laughs> thank yeah. you. Thank you for thing? sharing your any other Any other question by anyone? Or I shall present the other one. I will go to the presentation. Because normally I do this so that everybody gets benefited. That is the okay, idea. Okay. Go ahead. 
Is the screen visible? Yes, sir. It's visible. Yes, sir. Okay. Is the presentation on One Minute Manager? Yes, sir. By Kenneth Blanchard and Spencer Johnson. The Spencer Johnson has the both the people have written a lot of books. I'm just uh, sharing only one, right? Uh, uh, how many of you agree to this? People who feel good about themselves produce good results. Yes or no? Yes, sir. <laughs> so the HR man's job is to make you feel good, right? If you are, if anybody is going to take HR as the primary subject career, please ensure that you make the other man feel good. That is the most important thing. three secrets of one minute manager okay the one minute manager uh, the uh, book course what is a one minute manager and all one minute manager doesn't have any any closed door and all his doors are always open anybody can meet him at any time he doesn't need appointment and all so after reading this when i became the top head and all okay doors are there but my pa i have given clear instruction if nobody is there in my room anybody can walk in If somebody is there in the room, please take my permission. Otherwise, anybody can walk. In. There is nothing like executive director needs an appointment one week and all. No, if I am free, people can walk. In. Uh, when you go through this book, it will be really uh, you will understand why I wanted to give chocolates. What was? Why did I say chocolates? I you you need a chocolate. You will have to be given. Who was the person? Two persons to get chocolates today? Me, sir. What is your name, madam? I am Saukya, sir. You are a student. Yes, sir. Okay, and who is the other person? Two people, you know, or only one person today? I remember two. Okay, ready, you know, your name? Yes, sir. So, uh, Doctor Vijay Lakshmi, madam, there is a small request. Yes, sir. Whenever you meet this girl, please hand over a chocolate on my behalf. Sure, sure. We'll we'll do it. <laughs> And uh, anybody else, if I had said uh, I will give chocolate, please hand it over to them. Why chocolate? That is the second point. You know, one minute praising. So you must praise immediately. That is the secret. You don't wait for appraisal year to praise. Praise immediately. One minute goal setting. One minute goal setting is what make clear what our responsibilities are and what we are being held accountable for. That is the one minute goal setting. And what should be one minute goal setting? you will not agree on the goals right and uh, uh, to the benefit all of all of you i have made presentations of many books like this and then kept so that the book can be presented instead of reading easily that is what uh, that is one of my passion i do i keep it now describe what good behavior looks like like i told uh, uh, that girl that you did a good job So you deserve a chocolate. So you have to say, you know, you you answered well. You did it good. So you say, describe what good behavior. Write goals in two fifty words or less. Why two fifty words or less? Because in one minute we can read two fifty words. So that is why a goal setting should not be more than fifty twenty pages. It should not be. It should be only two fifty words. At least the summary. Look at the performance. Then see how the. performance is going with the goals and give feedback continuous feedback everyone is a potential winner some people are disguised as loser don't let their appearance fool you uh how many i think there are mothers in this uh, group and sisters in this group how many of you when we children were going to the schools do the brown paper wrapping how many of you have been doing it how many of you i am stopping the sharing right i want to see all of you yes how many of you were doing the brown paper wrapping we do no madam all of you must be knowing so who was doing most of us most of us will do sir no most of us mean mothers or fathers Brothers Mother, or sisters? Uh, mostly mothers. Why, madam? Even even father also, sir. My father. <laughs> you are a good you are a good father. You are good brother. Yeah. But ninety percent it will be my mothers or sisters. Why? 
Neat should be neat and clean. Why we are not neat, is it? Many many things. Good condition for long time. No, no. I, I'll tell you why. Many many yeah, things. Uh, the the ladies do in the house. Do you know why? The first time you give it to your husband or to the father or to the brother, he messes it up. Yes, because they do patiently. No, no. One minute. One minute. I'll tell you. He messes it up. Then you immediately decide that this man is not capable of doing it. You are decided. That is what he also wants it. That this decision you should take. So twice I will mess up. I will not clean the vessel properly afterwards. Life long I need not touch any vessel at all because you think that I am incapable. No. Now I have put a disguise. Disguise. Uh, I don't know what is in Telugu. Disguise is what Telugu. I I put a drama as if that I am now a monkey. I am now a tiger. You put a disguise. No, you believe the disguise. After that, you only sh shout at the people. You are incapable of doing. You are incapable of doing. I am very happy. I am incapable of doing, so I don't do. Whereas, as a HR person, never allow anybody to get into the disguise of incapability and allow him to go scot free. So, first time when you are doing the brown paper, this one, the father, brother, anyway, in my house, I do all the jobs, including cleaning of vessels. So, don't take my example. I'm just telling you. So what is happening? The disguise you should not allow. That is what is being told here. Everyone is a potential winner. Some people are disguised as losers. Don't let their appearance fool you. Don't allow them. Okay, okay. You are a. You can't do. Don't do. No. You have to make them do. That is what you should do. Just the one minute. Hide. Try some. Ah, uh, simply. Want to simply hide. No, no. That <laughs> is right. But I, I don't allow. As say as I, I was managing six thousand people at some particular point in nine departments. I never allow anybody who says that he cannot do properly. I said no, he is being paid, so let him do the job. You allow. So this is a, a tip and trick of today to the uh, homemakers to go back and uh, implement in the house. No, that is what. Say every way, every one of us are capable of doing everything. We try to. Play a drama as if that we cannot do, and don't allow this to happen in the office. And one minute praising is catch them doing right and praise them. Normally we catch people whenever they do something wrong. Here you catch them right always, and then praise them. Praise them means you can praise, and praising should not be half an hour. You should not praise. You should describe what they did right. That is what I did with uh, Miss Reddy, and then. i shared the feeling then you will have to do more you say that and help reach, people reach their full potential catch them doing right something right and every time in my life after reading this book i have never try to get people doing wrong i always try to get people doing right i i go with 20 chocolates in my pockets every day morning and then i go on be giving chocolates to people who ever i know i don't know when i take class whichever children answer or whichever participant answers well i give them a chocolate right so this is what i do and uh, whenever my wife or my daughter cooks very well you immediately appreciate it if they don't cook well don't jump on them normally we do the reverse like as i do the every time appreciation immediate appreciation even to my wife and kids i give chocolate one minute reprimand next is what tough on performance not tough on the person you can be angry but not on the person itself who made you the engineer who made you the uh, accountant don't ask all those questions you know because there is an university which has made you accountant engineer and all don't tough on the person be tough on the performance you did not do well that also everything one minute everything be immediate specific and describe the poor performance don't wait till the appraisal year as an hr man on 7th march 2022 appraisal is taking place in 2023 july now you tell the person on 7th march 2022 you made the mistake in your job no poor man or poor girl he will not she will not remember what happened 15 months back be immediate specific and describe the performance then and there i normally 
tell people okay we will have a charity show normally we will create fund for charity you make a mistake you put 1 rupee or 10 rupee in a kundi so that is being used for helping some old age ashram and all so that is a different subject so that is a this one tell them how you feel about what they did wrong encourage them and remind them how much you still value them as a person let them know it is over and then shake hands that is the most important thing and the best minute i spend is the one i invest in of people this is the best minute so that is the one minute manage so you have one minute goal setting you immediately praise people one minute you reprimand people one minute don't go on be shouting for half an hour you did this you did this you did this you did this you but the person who is listening has closed his ears now he is not going to listen exactly one minute goal setting one minute praising one minute reprimand you become a great manager whether you are in hr finance you become a great manager and great person helps in the family helps in the organization so i thought since many of you wouldn't have read the book i thought i will read the book for you like this so i i have uh, completed uh, my this one so in case any no more questions and then the floor is open to the college and uh, i should uh, thank uh, sir achalapati sir for this particular opportunity i really love being with uh, people on learning curve then i learn a lot whenever i talk to people and then this is an, a great opportunity i thank you very much for this and i look forward to having more opportunities like this on other subjects thank you very much thank you so much sir thank you sir uh, we have question uh, can you please elaborate on role of artificial intelligence in hr goal of art madam that is a separate subject it takes about a, a whole day subject goal of artificial intelligence in hr is hr's role is to train people on artificial intelligence to start with because you know this training is needed on how people are going to work with bots artificial intelligence iot and then how the machines are to be learning and all so hr should start training people on al and ml instead of stopping only with some computers and all wherever whichever company they are going to be engaged if it is a technology based companies then everybody need not be trained on all subjects but wherever it is to be trained they are supposed to train and uh, this is the short answer the long answer will be a, a lengthy answer it will be a separate subject itself thank you sir uh, now i request ramya ma'am to propose vote of thanks yeah good afternoon sir yes madam yeah it is an honor to propose vote of thanks on behalf of ams school of informatics i thank today's speaker mr t uh, mr t c s rinivas prasad sir for uh, sparing time from his busy schedule and enlightening us uh, regarding the recent trends and challenges in hrm thank you sir for such an interactive and insightful and informative session i thank our chairperson professor k achalapati sir our secretary sir by satyanarayan rao uh for gracing the occasion i also thank our director professor kv jalakshmi ma'am for organizing such an event i also thank all the participants from various colleges for their act active participation sir has enlightened us on various trends challenges of hrn like work from home fluid workforce and more emphasis on employee mental health and the different roles of hr thank you sir and i also thank our faculty for their support thank you one and all